Hello and welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. This is just a really quick tutorial. I did a card in my group, um, Card Making for Beginners and Beyond, and I've had a lot of people commenting on it and how I did it. So I'm quickly going to show you how to do just the stamping for this card. So I've used a Lavinia stamp, and to start off with, I have inked it up in... Um, elements graphite so we'll just ink that up and then stamped it onto the card now you must make sure that it is really dry before you do the next step otherwise the embossing powder will stick to it so I'll just clean that off now, I just moved it across a couple of millimetres. That's all you need to do. That's where the stamp press is great for this sort of thing. Now, I've just got to I'll just dry the stamp off. Because now I'm going to... I'll just dry this off. Pardon, sorry about the noise. Now, using Versamark, I'm going to ink up the stamp. Make sure you give it a good coverage. And now it'll be just, maybe I didn't move it across. I might move it just a little bit more. Now I'll stamp it. And then, just get all this out of the way. Piece of paper. Now I'm using Wow Opaque Bright White Super Fine Embossing Powder. So now I'll just go over that. Tip the excess onto the paper. And you can already see the effect that it's starting there before I even emboss it. Just pop this away. I always put that away straight after because many times I have knocked it. And <laughs> there you go, I just dropped it. Yep, end up with it everywhere. Okay, now, pardon the noise again, we're going to use the heat gun. Sorry about the noise. You see it melting there. And there is your shadowed feather. You don't, Obviously, you don't have to use a feather. You can use anything you like. And then I've done the same on a card here, and I've just um, done a little bit of brushing around the edge of the card with, I think I used Chip Sapphire, the um, Distress Oxides Chip Sapphire. And I've put it on a matte card, which using, again, the graphite, I've just gone around the edge of the matte card with the graphite and then put it onto a base card. So it's very easy, really, and it's very effective. So hopefully you've liked that. If you have, please do give me the thumbs up and um, feel free to join us on my Facebook page, Card Making for Beginners and Beyond, and or Barossa Valley Crafts. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Thank you for joining me for this quick one. Bye.